Um, with the show, uh, I'm going to be playing some stuff, so you're going to have to bear with me that I haven't played in 20, 30 years. Uh, there's going to be some things that I actually have never played in public, uh, so that's, that's going to be interesting. But this first thing is, um, it's, uh, I don't generally uh, play in, in any kind of open tunings. Um, but this this song uh, is in double drop D, and uh, and another thing about about the songs that uh, uh, I play uh, and that that we played uh, back in the past is is a lot of times I heard learn these songs from covers as opposed to the original person who did it did them, and that's the case with this song here. This is um, it's in double drop D. Um, which is the two D strings are down and everything else in between is as normal. Uh, th this is uh, a Skip James, uh, a Skip James tune. Uh, he's like amazing, amazing player. He played some stuff that's really, well, he, he was, he was a one of a kind. I mean, really, a really unique player, but he played in a lot of open tunings. And I think he played this. The uh, G string was actually tuned down to F sharp, and I think that made it an open D minor. Uh, but I'm not able to do that, so I play it just in, in double drop D, and it's called Devil Got My Woman. Let's see if we can do this. It's been. Woman, I love. 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 Wo
comes to us from my happy spring. Stole from my brain, but he'll get lucky. Stole all right on back again. I'd rather be the devil than be my woman. I'd rather be the devil than be my woman. Nothing but the devil. Jeff Muldaur, <laughs> which is, um, he used to sing, well, I guess he was with the Queskin band with his wife, Maria, and uh, Jim Queskin and uh, Fritz Richmond, I think, used to play the wash, wash tub bass. They were pretty, pretty well known. I had some pretty nice albums, so some nice songs in there. Now, this is going to be an adventure here. This is... Um, this is a uh, <clears throat> Blind Boy Fuller song. It's one I never did. I never did in public. And this is one that I heard from Blind Boy Fuller. But for some reason, it's hard for me to play. What makes it hard is that I want to go faster and faster and faster and faster and my fingers get all tangled up. So we're going to try to not let that happen tonight. So we'll start nice and slow on this. You guys are going to let me know how I'm doing with time, right? Thank you. 
get some going and try to make me stay. Don't stay away now on my day. The girl wants to know how can it be? A little girl wants to know how can it be? Girl, little girl. That you love someone you don't love me. Hey. <laughs> Pete and I would play. This was always the usually the first first song, first song, first set. The great TB Blues, um, Letty Judy Ledbetter, my uh, first guitar hero. I think you heard that story before, but that's my first guitar hero was was Lead Belly, and. Um, I'm still still playing some. Now this particular the TV blues, I, I don't know if I have mentioned it before, but it's really supposed to be A. -A. But my uh, my cheapo first 12 string guitar developed a warped neck and there were parts up the neck that I were unable to be played on that guitar, so I transposed it into E. And it became Which uh, still works, still works for me. Now, uh, Led Belly played this song. He used to, he used to say that, uh, that he learned this song from Victoria Spivey, who was the first woman that ever had TB. But really what I, <laughs> I found out later on is that she wrote the song. And if you go on YouTube, uh, you can find Victoria Spivey uh, uh, videos of her actually singing this song with a band, um, uh, the, the TV Blues. Um, and uh, she, didn't, she didn't look like she was died from TV. So anyway, so this is uh, how, we, how we're doing it these days. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I think we have time for was it eight ten? Uh, you started a couple minutes late, so if you got time for maybe two more songs here, two more songs here. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Hey, Gordon. Yes. One other thing, you're starting to cut out really bad. Is it possible you could turn the volume down just a little bit? Uh, yeah. Let me just. I think it's overloading the Zoom uh, volume setting. Yeah, I have a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, anyway. Uh, where are we here? Gordy. Yeah. Man in the street. Hey, John. How you doing? That's an entirely different question. I was proposed to Bannon Street. Bannon Street? Yeah, okay. I could, I could embarrass myself with that. No problem. So, so Gordy, before you before you leave the the um, computer, could you double check on the upper left hand corner and does it say original sound? Oh, up? you know what? It messed up because I had I had shut it down and turned it back on, and I didn't. It's supposed to be green. Yep, that'll do it. All right. Remove spotlight. What the heck does that mean? No, that's that's us. You should yeah, have... don't touch that. <laughs> um, why won't it let me do that? Well, it's gray. Turn on original sound. You want the original sound to be off, right? Should say turn off original sound. Okay, that's what it says now. Okay. Okay. Sorry ahead. about that. Oh, well, that's okay. We... That happens. <laughs> the miracle of modern electronics. Um, um, let's see. I, I have this song here that I'll try, and then I and I heard John say he wanted to hear um, uh, hear me uh, play, try to play Bannon Street, which is a song I never played unless somebody said, "Could you play Bannon Street?" <laughs> it's another Lead Belly song, but this one it's it's a little strange, and it's one that I've never played uh, publicly. Um, it's a Bessie Smith song. So that means I had to change the gender of it. And it's uh it's the young young women's blues, I think. So uh, so this is the young man's blues, fine women and song. I'm a young man. I 
Daddy come running out. Yes, I'm a young man. Yes, I'm a young man. I ain't done running round. Yes, I'm a young man. I ain't done running round. Some people call me a hobo. They say I'm a bum. They don't know my name. Know what I've done. See that long. Yes, I'm a young man. I ain't done running around. Young, young man's blues. <laughs> All right. Very and, cool. Okay. This is this is the old the, the guitar. This is um. Uh, a Del Arte. This guy, uh, uh, Canard, uh, makes guitars out in California. Or at least he used to, but I guess he still does. And um, his, his claim to fame is that he makes replica uh, gypsy jazz guitars like Django Reinhardt used to play. And uh, at one point, he made these copies of uh, Lead Belly's old Stella 12 string. And uh, I got this one here. It's ladder braced and everything. And it's got the lead belly tuning, which is two octaves on the uh, bass E and unison on the D string, which is not D anyway, because this thing is tuned down to B. Anyway, this is uh, Lead Belly's coming of age song. He uh, tells the story about um, when, he was, when he was a boy, he um, used to go into Shreveport, Louisiana, with his father to pick up uh, pick up provisions and things on the wagon, and uh, he would go. He would he would be taken over to Fannin Street, which is where uh, where which was where everything was happening. And his father would tell him, "Okay, you stay in the wagon," and then he'd disappear into one of the joints. And Led <laughs> Belly swore that when he got old enough, he was going there too. So this is a coming of age song. Let Belly, let Belly tell the story. This song was made when I was a boy. First put on a long pants, went down to Fannin Street. My mom didn't want me going down there because she was scared something might happen to me while I was gone. When I was growing up, we had Burnett Street. My mom didn't want me going down there either. Anyway, Let Belly is singing this song and he's talking about uh, and I put, you know, put on long pants, I'm going down the Fanny Street. And he said, uh, Mama didn't want him to go. And my mama caught me by the arm one night, just as I was going out to My mama told me, baby sister or two, put me down on Fanny Street, son, be the death of you. My mama wasn't trying to make her feel bad, wasn't making it feel sad. I said, My mama, mama, you don't know. When we down on Fan Street to kill me, won't you let me go? It broke my mama's heart over the words I spoke. She went to crying.
town I was running on. Just so she wouldn't be worried about me while I was gone. I've got a woman living over on Stony Hill. She was sitting down and gas a little with Buffalo Pete. When she came in that night, I told her she'd be running with a mean thing. Said you'd be gambling with old Buffalo Bill. If you want to try, you ain't just got kids. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure hanging out and uh, we can't wait to see you in person.